Hello and welcome to Andrea's Apothecary. Um, tonight I'm going to be doing my FSH shots and this is I guess my third or fourth night doing it so I'm a little bit more skilled now. So I'm right now just taking the tops off. Um, it's all still sealed. Um, so that's the first thing I do is take the tops off of this. I'll go over what all of these are here in just a minute. Just have to take one of these alcohol pads, make sure everything is nice and sterile. So what we have here, this is my FSH right here. So um, I do four vials because every vial is 75 units and I'm taking 300 total. Um, and this is part of why in vitro is really expensive because these are $45 for one vial. So the medications can end up costing quite a bit. So what I'm going to be do doing with those is diluting them with some of this solution. I also am taking a little bit of low dose HCG. And I'm not going to go into why I do that, partly because I'm not entirely sure myself and I just don't want to overwhelm everybody with too much information. So. Um, that actually needs to stay refrigerated. So that's just popped out of the fridge just now. Oh, little um, disclaimer. If you are not okay with needles, if they make you nauseous or dizzy or whatever, stop this video right now. So we are going to be busting out some needles. I don't like needles, but here I am. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be using to draw everything out. It is a really big, fat, scary needle. I will not be using this on myself. This just makes it easier to draw everything out. So um, what I need to do first is get a little bit of air in there. It's kind of, it gets kind of hard to pull things out if you don't have, get some air that you pop in first. So I inject the air in. And I actually turn this upside down so that it just draws right in. I'm going to actually get my HCG out first. So I'm going to draw that down to about half a milliliter there. A little bit of air in there, but that's okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to set that aside. I'm done with that. I'm going to actually put it into my last FSH jar there. Oh, it's not on there very good. Okay, so a little bit spilled out there. I'm going to suck that up. Put it back in because that's expensive stuff. Okay, we're all good. So I'm going to put that aside. I'm done with that for now. So now I'm going to use my saline solution. Same thing, I need to draw a little bit of air in here this in, put the air in, turn it upside down. It's kind of a complicated process really. Okay, and I want about another half milliliter there. So, so I'm done with that. No more saline solution. I'm going to put that in the first one. Put that in there. Now this is kind of the FSH actually is kind of a crystallized as you can see, I'm very steady hands. <laughs> I'm just, you know, busting Ultimate needles all over. Yeah, <laughs> this is why I'm not in the medical field. Um, so it's actually a crystal solution. It's made of crystals. And uh, so that's, so it kind of dissolves in there. So what I'm going to be doing is transferring, you know, from one to the next to the next until I end up with the solution that I have, the FSH and the HCG mixed together kind of annoying that I have to do all this because when I did it in Hawaii I just had this wonderful pen that loaded it all up for me so getting air in here I thought it was a pro after a couple of nights but as you can see uh, Andrea the klutz lives on seriously can you imagine if I'd have been a phlebotomist 
but not lady that would would have had to stick you a couple times. So yeah, there's nothing nothing left in that first bottle. Done with that. And put it in the next one. Shake it around a little bit. I know this is fascinating. Okay. Hold down. Thank goodness, I only have four vials. Okay. Make sure there's, there's a tiny bit left in there, but no. It's like every little bit matters, you know, when you're paying so much for this. You want the greatest benefit you can get. Okay. Set that around. This is our last one before I put it into the H. Oh, I didn't get any air in there. It's going to be hard to get it out. Not that I've learned that from experience or anything. This has been a learning experience. Now this is like drippy. I don't like how that's dripping that much. Okay, well I lost a little bit there for some reason. This is like not at all professional, but the point is to mix it and get it in you. So here is the last one going in. Okay. Okay, so let me clean up my mess here. Isn't it isn't it amazing that it costs that much? Like it's just amazing. I don't know what all is involved in making it, of course, you know, I don't know how that happens. But it's just kind of amazing to me that this these tiny crystals it's like you're paying like a dollar per grain of sand. It's kind of crazy. Okay, one last draw out. So we're gonna get this loaded up to actually inject because this is our last last one. So we'll put those bad boys in there. Draw it out. So I should have just over one milliliter. So I'm drawing as much as I can because even if there's a little bit of air in there, at least I know I've gotten everything. Yeah, so it's a little bit less, so I've lost a little bit along the way. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm over half, so. Okay, so what do I do, because I do not want to use this needle, Take this needle off. Put that in my little druggy container. And I put this other nicer needle on. So I'm just going to leave that there for a minute. Um, this is a nice small needle. It's a 30 and a half gauge. Unfortunately, my first night I thought I had to use the 22 and a half gauge, which I thought it was kind of weird because that was a lot bigger than I remember from the pen. But uh, turns out I only have to use this teeny tiny needle, so that's not that bad at all. Okay, so now is the time to definitely turn it off if you are not okay with shots. Because I'm going to show you how it works. No, this doesn't hurt, so don't worry about it. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be putting it in my belly region. So um, I'm supposed to put it in kind of this area here. You can see that's when I use the bigger needle there. Got tiny little bumps there. So I don't remember what side I was on. I think this side. So I'm just going to swab that. 
Good thing I still have a nice little cushion here because it makes it not hurt as bad when you have a cushion. Okay, so that's swabbed. I'm going to take my needle. Kind of made sure there's not much air in there already. Yep. So what I do is I squeeze it, squeeze the area there that I'm going to do it in, and then I just put it in. So one, two, three. And seriously, I barely felt that. So it's going in right now. My FSH telling those eggs, all those eggs to grow. It's still injecting. Okay all the way in. I'm going to wait a few seconds and take it out. There you go. There's nothing left in there. Put the cap back on. Again. And it goes in my druggy box. And that's it. That's how I make babies.